Hi, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us again today for Heart to Heart Interviews with CI Heartland. Today, I have Mr. Mike D from First Service Residential here. Hi, Mike, how are you? I'm doing good, Kathy, how are you? Good, so now you need to tell the group where you're at because you look like you're in like this tropical place or you're someplace uh, good, no. so you need to tell us where you're at. Yeah, here in uh, Kansas City, First Service, we uh, run a pool uh, division during the summer, so I'm uh, actually putting out pool furniture, getting it all ready for opening day. Uh, this weekend in Network Pools, and there are mothers with kids ready for it. Love it. <laughs> good, good. So, Mike, tell us a little bit about what your role is at CAI for our chapter. Yeah, so um, I've served on the board now, I think, uh, coming up on four years. Uh, this is, um, I'm one of the representatives in the Kansas City market, so I have that distinct privilege. Uh, I serve as the treasurer. Uh, I've also been on uh, MOLAC, uh, the Missouri Legislative Action Committee, still serve on that as a representative of the board. And so I watch the finances, and I think my role as well is someone to think outside the box, challenge all assumptions, and be the person that comes from a different perspective. That's my it. role. I love it. I love it. And we're so happy to have you representing our members on the Kansas City side. So yeah. You bet. Yeah. So how long have you been involved with CEI? Well, I've been in the industry for 14 years and I've been involved with 14 years. So I uh, started in uh, Hawaii, very active chapter on the uh, island of Oahu got my CMCA and my AMS while in Hawaii. And I've been now with the um, and CAI and Heartland for coming up on 10 years, be nine years coming up on 10. That's awesome. So who, was there somebody or something that encouraged you to get more involved um, when you came to our chapter? Was there anybody or, um, or anything that kind of said, hey, you need to get more involved. We want you to be part of, of the chapter. Yeah, interestingly, uh, back nine, almost 10 years ago, um, I was with Curry Association Management. Yeah. So uh, Christine Lentz and Curry, and I was one of the few that actually had my CMCA and my AMS. So as a company, we have uh, made it a policy that our property managers will at least have their CMCA. So I would say it's Christine Lentz, uh, but I came with my credentials and then we've moved to get quite a few, as you know, quite a few of our managers certified over the last uh, decade. Yeah, so that's, it's, it's a big expense, but I think it's worth it um, for your sure communities, is. for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Do you have a favorite CI Heartland event that we do? Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of uniquely different because, you know, you have the events in St. Louis and then as far as events in Kansas City, without a doubt, it's the manager reception. Um, <laughs> I've attended that for the last, as long as we've had, I think I've been in every one we've had in Kansas City. Yeah, so it's I love fun. that. Yeah, yeah, you get it at Lydia's and we've had it at several places, but a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah, I'll, I, that's one of my favorite ones too. I can't wait for yeah. that. I can't wait to see people in person again later on this year. That's gonna be good. Do you have a favorite CEI memory? CAI memory. Now, I would say, without a doubt, it was um, when I was recognized as the, um, the manager of the year in the Kansas City area and was able to go to St. Louis with uh, obviously Leah and I, and then my mom and my stepdad came, and uh, it was a Christmas gathering, and we, my mom and wife, danced into the night and <laughs> <laughs> it's I, saw my, a fun I saw event. both of them on a light that i'd never seen them before so it must be cai that brought it out of them <laughs> i i tell people if you've never been to the holiday party you need to at least come oh. once because it gets crazy towards the end of the night people start it dancing was... and letting loose a little bit so yeah jenny from the block was there <laughs> yeah all the crazies patrick yeah. <laughs> oh i love it <laughs> good good so if if you um were to talk to um, a board a board member, yeah, one of your board members. What would you tell them? How would you get them to um, to learn more about CEI and get them to like maybe become members? What yeah. would you say to um, them? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know that I'm one of the ones in the Kansas City area that really pushed for 
uh, board members to as a group communities uh, to get their boards um, signed up. So I was at Parkway Towers for about five years and Mark Meyer, Dirk, Larry Stackington, uh, the board was very active. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a third party and it's, it's information that's not driven and coming from the management company. And sometimes there's a lack of trust, believe it or not. And so to have CAI there as that uh, industry standard best practice, um, I have never had a problem getting them involved with the common ground to be able to read that. And also the, is it the daily blog or? or the I exchange. Yes, yeah, I the, love that. I had those board members, I would get it each morning. I'd see Joe Beth Bradbury was a board member asking questions. I'm going, man, that is it. cool. I love and getting that. answers from someone over on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. so, Don't recreate yeah. the wheel, like learn from everybody else, right. right? Yeah. Yeah. So I've never had a problem selling the involvement or the value that CAI brings. That's great. Thank you for doing that, Mike. Um, is there something that maybe our members might not know about you that you'd like to share? Um, don't know about me that I might share. So the first part of my career I spent as a psychosocial therapist. And, um, you know, once people find that out, they think that I'm analyzing them, which is true because <laughs> I am. Um, no, I spent years working with kids with disabilities and uh, would run uh, groups and schools. And that was back when the IEPs were becoming popular. And, yeah. and um, so I've always had a passion to see where people are and where the potential of, of that they, they could. So they might not know that about me. I like that. So I asked Mike before we got started, I asked him to pick a number between one, two or three, and he picked one. So he gets the this or that question. So you ready, Mike? I am. <laughs> okay. Um, cups in the pantry, right side up or upside down? Uh, upside down. Okay, me too. <laughs> um, pancake or waffle? Without a doubt, pancake. Oh, and see me waffle. It's all about the waffle. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Buttermilk pancake. Um, Coke or Pepsi? Uh, neither. Neither. That's me too. <laughs> mm -mm. So what's no your bubbly. drink of choice then? You got to tell us what your drink of choice is. I am. I'm a Perrier drinker. Oh, I might do okay. a little Perrier peach, but I like Perrier lime or red original. My son likes that too. <laughs> That's oh, one yeah. of his favorites. Oh, yeah. Um, blinds or curtains? Oh, blinds. Blinds. Train or plane? Uh, plane. Plane? Oh, me trains all the way. I hate to fly. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> um, too noisy, I, Radley. It takes too long. Yeah, that's true. But it, you get to see all kinds of good things on the way, though. No? Right. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Iced coffee or hot coffee? Hot. I, I can do both. You know, it depends on like uh, I'm on the temperature. <laughs> um, meat or veggies? Uh, meat and veggies. You both. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm a three course <laughs> guy and a salad and with, a salad. with buttermilk and dressing. dessert, right? Uh, no dessert. No, no dessert. dessert? Just, okay. No, my meat, veggie, and salad. Okay. <laughs> um, international vacation or a new TV? International vacation or a new TV? Jeez, I'm not. Well, it's interesting you ask because I'm not a big traveler and I don't watch a lot of TV. So, man, let's just go on a trip to uh, to I don't know Europe. Okay, there you go. You let's can always it. get a TV later. What, that's how, not, you know, right? that's what I say. Um, save or spend? Save. Save. I'm the treasurer for CAI. <laughs> That wasn't a trick, a trick question, I swear. <laughs> um, I know, right? <laughs> TV or book? Book. Books. Movie at home or movie at the theater? Uh, we like the theater, but obviously with, with COVID, I uh, know. we've not. So I'm going still with the theater. Man. I'm old school. And here's, Give me some here, popcorn. There you go. Here's the hard question. Are you ready? This is the hard one to me. A big, Bring a on. big, a big issue in our house sometimes. Toilet paper over or under? Over. <laughs> Thank Hello. you. Thank under you. Tell work. my husband that when he yeah, replaces it, he almost always does it the wrong way. So just yeah, like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, school that boy. Hey, 28 years I've been trying, Mike, and it's yeah, not always good easy. luck. Good luck. <laughs> So the last question I have for you, well, actually, it's not really a question. It's more 
a 30 second plug to plug. Um, you can plug for service if you'd like. You could plug your favorite charity or anything that you'd like to tell our members about. You got 30 seconds. Go. Man, I'm just going to plug a uh, process. I'm going to plug the journey. So I've been on a journey now. Um, six months ago or so, I quit uh, chewing tobacco and I also quit uh, drinking and um, I've just got a new perspective. And I love a uh, process, falling in love with the process. So I think uh, encouraging people to be vulnerable. Uh, we all struggle and you're not alone struggling like no one else. Uh, but when you share, you get permission to people to share with you. So process and being vulnerable. That's my uh, pitch. Try it out. That. I love that, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think everyone's kind of, you know, struggled over, you know, over the last year and we've had some challenges. And I think yeah. it's great that people are sharing more because we all, you know, we're all going through something, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mike, thank you. Um, anything else that you want to tell the group? Anything else you want to say before we end the interview? No, I just, uh, it's such an honor to network and resource. And Kathy, we've known each other for quite a while. I remember when you asked me to serve on the board, I looked at you and I said, look, my, my goal is to make your life easier. And I want to be a support um, and encouragement. So a lot of chapters don't have the consistency, the institutional knowledge and intellectual capital that we have because of you. Um, so uh, hats you. off to you, my friend. You're, you're great. Yeah. Well, you guys make it easy. I have a great board and one of you know, fantastic committees. So I'm really lucky. So it's a, it's a, um, it, it's, it's teamwork, right? It's all about teamwork. Sure does. Yes. Well, Mike, thank you for joining us today. And we hope to see everybody next time on Heart to Heart Interviews with CI Heartland. Thanks everybody. Take care.